Have you ever jumped into a sprint review, talked about all this really cool technical detail you've been working through, just for your product owner to turn around and say, hang on, what are you talking about? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you a way around that. Hi, I'm Jake Bayless from SSW TV. Today, I'm gonna to be talking to you about showcasing your PBIs to your product owner. Now, as devs, we love talking about all of the technical detail that we go through to get our work done. However, we need to remember that during a sprint review, we're speaking to a product owner, not a developer. So we really need to focus on the business value and what is important to our product owner. Today, I have three really important things that you can do to prepare yourself for that sprint review. Number one, giving context. Number two, having a comparison. So an old version versus a new version. And number three is asking questions, asking for feedback. So the first point, giving context. We really need to focus on the business value that we're providing and not go into too much detail. We need to remember this is a product owner that they care about the business value that they're gonna be provided. When we are explaining our context, we have a rule on how to do this, which is the zoom in out rule, which talks about three different levels of detail that we wanna talk about. Remember, we're talking to a product owner, so we really want to stick to the high level stuff, why we're doing something, the business value that we're gonna be getting out of this. Additionally, we have the cater to your audience rule, which is really figuring out the type of person that you're speaking to. So are they technical? Are they a financial person? So you really want to tailor your message and the info that you're giving to be relevant to them. The second point, is having a comparison. So preparing an old version, having a new version, so that we can really see the difference, highlight that business value that we're providing. And then lastly, asking for questions, asking for feedback, giving your product owner a chance to make any comments, give you any direction for your future sprints. So I have a sample PBI here. Let's go through a Bad example followed by a good example. Here's the bad example. I have a PBI here, show policy owner. And so this is all finished now. What I had to do was join a client link to a member, join a client to the client link so that I could then grab the name field from the client table. So there are a whole bunch of joins that I had to do to get this done. So hopefully, you clearly see that that was quite a bad demonstration of a PBI. I didn't give any context whatsoever. I didn't sort of prepare uh, a showcase. I didn't show an old version versus a new version. I just rambled and gave a whole bunch of detail. I also didn't ask if there were any questions afterwards. Let's jump into a good example. I have the PBI here, show policy owner. So to give a bit of background on this, we need to show the policy owner field on this form so that we can clearly and quickly see the policy owner or the life insured and see if they're actually different. I'll jump over to the old version, which is here. We can clearly see there's no policy owner field on this form. So if I was a user trying to use this form, I would have to go and find that policy owner value somewhere else, which would just be annoying. Then the new version, we can see the policy owner is there on the form and straight away we can see the policy owner is the same as the client. So we know that they are the same. We can even click through to the policy owner if we need to. Are there any questions or feedback you have on that? I think that was a much better example than the one earlier. I gave context. I had an old version versus a new version and we compared the two. Hopefully that was really easy to actually see the difference, see the business value that we're actually giving. And then lastly, I asked for any comments, questions and feedback. Hopefully you found this valuable and you use it in your next sprint review. Remember we have a rule on this, so check that out in the description below. This is Jake Bayless signing off for SSW TV.